any of this stuff gets to the brain. David Eagleman is one of more than 175,000 people at this conference. He's a Stanford neuroscientist who co-founded a company that creates a wristband that helps the hearing impaired hear through their skin. And I've been very interested in the question of how we can pass information to the brain via unusual channels. Because this device comes after years of research, Eagleman wants it well protected. We have all the underlying technology patented, so we're not terribly worried about patent theft. Um, on the flip side, this is a group of 170,000 smart people, and so it's something that we just have to watch out for. It does happen from time to time where a piece of product may go missing, or somebody has noticed when they get back to their factory that there has been a piece of of uh, software that's been installed onto one of their systems. So it's a matter of being vigilant. According to the FBI and U.S. Attorney's Office, last year alone there was a long list of cases of proprietary information being stolen. Some of them include a North Carolina man who pleaded guilty to stealing trade secrets from aircraft companies to help a competitor develop anti-ice aircraft technology a software engineer at a Chicago locomotive manufacturer who was indicted for stealing proprietary information from his company and taking it to China. He's believed to be living in China. A Chinese national working as an engineer in California was sentenced to 27 months in federal prison for stealing trade secrets from medical device companies and taking them to China. Aaron Rouse with the Las Vegas Division of the FBI says there are many different types of entities that would benefit from stolen technology. Could be a criminal organization, could be a foreign intelligence service, could be a competitor. Sites of potential danger are conferences, such as the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, where there were more than 4,000 companies exhibiting and more than 160 countries represented. Rouse's advice is to be aware of who is handling your technology at all times. Before you come out to one of these conferences to make sure that the equipment arrives intact and on time, uh, that it makes it off the loading dock, and then during the time of the convention, who's handling your, your, your equipment? Who is handling your product? And do they have access or the capability of installing malware onto that product at that time? As technology continues to permeate every aspect of life, the FBI says intellectual property theft is a growing threat that can cost companies billions of dollars. Elizabeth Lee, VOA News, Las Vegas.